Hey, it's Sid. I go by the blind artisan because I'm a visually impaired artist on a mission to become the best artist I can possibly be. And I'm so honored that you're here. In this video, I will be primarily preparing for a shop update while simultaneously talking about the importance of believing in yourself as an artist because I feel like it's an important topic for us to have as artists and as people. So if you're interested and if this all sounds good to you, grab a cozy drink, grab your sketchbook and enjoy the video. Today is a very special day because I am making my very first mug. This design has been in the works for weeks now, so it feels really, really exciting to bring it to life. To bring this idea to life, I am actually using UV DTF for the first time, and I highly recommend it. It was so easy to use, and I love the outcome. Oh my goodness. We made the very first mug oh my god look how good that looks you guys i am speechless i had a vision in my head and it's crazy to see it be real i can't i cannot i cannot believe it wow okay we are going to make the next one nobody sees So I finished this one, um, but I messed up. As you can see, there's buckling at the bottom. So I think I need to cut off, not half an inch, but just a little bit more off. Um, I also messed up here. This was my first mess up and it made me so sad because I tried to place it, replace it, and part of it ripped. So that's a lesson learned. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna order another one and I'm going to make this bit smaller so that it can actually fit. And I'll probably do that today. And then I am really happy with this one. I think the reason why this one works, even though it's the same size, is because there's so much gapping here that I don't really experience the bubbles for that reason. So that's, that's really cool. So at least I have one that I can work with for now and like take pictures of and stuff and then just uh test out i know that these are not machine washable they're hand washable so i'll make sure to make that clear but i really love how it came out and i can't wait to drink out of this glass and even though this one didn't come out perfect i love how the colors look and there's just only some minor adjustments that need to be made so overall it's been uh really fun to try this out and yeah have you ever had a vision and when you went to execute it, it came out better than you could have imagined? That's how I felt with both of these mugs. I mean, the colors, the idea, just seeing it all in real life, it felt like a dream come true. So here I am taking a moment to just savor the moment and drink my first drink out of my new mug, which is matcha. Matcha has been my favorite drink these days. And this is a reminder to you to Enjoy the simple things, celebrate the small wins, just um, remember that even just creating something that you love is worthy of a celebration and is worthy of um, savoring that moment. It's a special moment, even if it's small. And I think in doing that, life becomes more exciting, more beautiful, more fun. can hear me over the background sorry for the background noise i try not to talk too much outside just because i know it can be a little noisy um but i am just sitting here drinking my masha on my deck area <laughs> and um i was checking threads because i posted about the mugs on my story to see what you guys think but also on threads because i kind of treat that as my stories as well it's just so casual and in the last two hours, I've gotten 562 likes on my mug design, which is insane. So, um, and it's cool because people are like, oh, when will these be available? And I'm like, well, people actually like them, which is insane. I am so, <laughs> I'm so happy. So I kind of told people that they're going to be available on October 17th, which is my birthday. Um, I had a birthday launch last year, so I felt like 
that would be really cool. The only thing is we don't know, number one, how the second mug design is going to go and also how if the sticker sheets are going to be here in time. So <laughs> hopefully everything comes in on time or else I'll have to just uh, trickle the sticker sheets in. But yeah, I made a little mistake. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I am so happy. It feels really cool to have my art be so well received and I just feel so honored. And then not to mention, here I am outside in my favorite place, which is the outdoors, drinking out of my own cup, which is crazy. So yeah, um, we have to make a plan on how we're gonna get everything done by October 17th which I think is doable. That is in a, um, a week and a few days, I think a week and four days. So I think we, we got this, we can totally do this. I believe in it, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys that update because I am so excited and um, yeah. Having your work be well received by so many people and getting so many kind comments on your creations can be so validating. But I think something that matters a lot more is how we feel about our own art. I mean, I feel like for me, it's the fuel that makes me continue to create art is believing in my ideas and getting excited about them. And while the mug was well received by many people, I'm really happy that I created something that I was excited about, that I had a vision about and I executed it and I was excited before anybody else was excited because I made the mug and I saw it first. And I think as artists, it can get a little bit tricky because I know that we want to create art that can sell, or at least some of us do, because you don't need to sell your art to be an artist. Um, but also then there's that trick between like creating marketable art versus creating art that speaks to you. And I feel like that has been um, something I've been struggling with because I know that my work is very unique looking, it's a little bit different, and it's not easy to understand, which is okay, you know? I personally think that if you create art for yourself, you're creating art for people who are like kindred spirits and stuff. And when you try to create art for many, in the end, it's like you're creating art for no one, in a sense. And at least that's my opinion. I know that could be a little controversial, but... I just think there's something really special about filling your own cup as an artist and entertaining your own ideas, whether you think it's silly, whether you think it's just for you, you never know who that idea will touch. And I think that's a beautiful thing because when it does touch someone, you know that it came from your authentic self and that you guys have something in common. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So this is a sign and a reminder for you to take a chance on your idea. No matter if you think someone will like it, have a little passion project that you want to work on and just um, entertain it a little bit. Because I think as artists, entertaining our silly ideas, those uh, dreams that come to mind is an act of self-love. And I think it's really, really, really important to keep our creative drive alive. Anyway, so here's a banner that I'm working on for Prime Day for my mom's business, and I think it came out super, super cute. I feel like red hair really does just suit anyone and everyone, and yeah, I just really love how it came out. One of my fatal flaws is that I tend to stay cooped up in my own space. There's just something about being in your comfort zone that is just so cozy and it's hard to leave it. But today I decided to set off to go and work at a coffee shop because I needed the fresh air. It's a beautiful October day and I feel like working around people is so inspiring and it encourages me to get more stuff done. So yeah. And I have to say, there's just something so special about October days. They're just so perfect, not too hot, not too cold. And they're so, so colorful, inspiring. So needless to say, I really enjoyed the walk. From looking at the wildflowers to taking in some of my favorite views, it was a beautiful experience. And it's a reminder that your comfort zone may be cozy, but expanding and getting out of your comfort zone and trying something new is always going to be so rewarding. And I think we all need moments like that. Once I reached a coffee shop and I had my cozy chai latte, I decided to get to work. 
I was feeling really, really inspired because the overall ambiance of the place was just perfect and to die for, and I just love working here. And the first thing I decided to work on was my um, care cards for the glass mugs. I feel like it's really important to let people know how to care for the items that I sell, and I feel like it's also a nice touch to just like design them and make them pretty. So I had a lot of fun doing this. Starting off my work with doing the care card served as a really good warm up, and when I was ready, I decided to go ahead and work on my fall flower piece because I wanted to finish her today. And luckily for me, the only things that needed to be worked on was the background details and just cleaning it up and making sure it's ready for print. And this was really, really satisfying. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than just drawing some nice, clean, swiggly lines. And this is how she came out. I am still so blown away. What do you think? After finishing the illustration, I decided to also work on a mailer that will be going out the day of the launch as well, and I love it so much. And after all of my personal stuff that I had set out to do was finished, I decided to dive into some client work. And I have to say, it is so true that working around other people or in a different environment really does spark and boost creativity and productivity, for me at least, and I had a really, really great day. So if you're also a socially anxious person who is trying to convince himself to leave the house, I want to be the one to tell you that it's totally worth it and you'll probably get more done than you imagined. And even if not, you got to see the outside world and breathe fresh air and just be a person around people. And even that is a lovely experience. When I got home, I was so eager to print out my new thank you cards just to see how they came out and my new print. And it's so exciting. It's always so different to actually hold your work, especially when you create digitally. So this was a really, really awesome experience. Hello friends. I just printed out a couple of the, of the things that I worked on today. And this is the thank you card. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I wonder if it's capturing it on camera. I think it is. But it's just such a peaceful and serene looking card. I almost like it so much that I might also offer a mini print with this illustration on it, just without the thank you, of course, but every order will get a little thank you card. And I think this is just gonna be my um, my updated thank you card for like just going forward. So I love the design, I think it's so cute. And then this is the print and I think she looks great. I feel like this print and the thank you card actually match, which is really, really cute. I feel like um, my fall launch is kind of cohesive in some ways, maybe uncohesive in others, but yeah, I love it so much. I think the print came out really, really nice. I love the colors. It's, it's really, really nice. So yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like everything's coming together. I think I'm gonna offer this print, and of course the very large one, which is the 18 by 24. This size, which is eight and a half by 11, and then a smaller size, which will be the four by six. So this size, um, oh wait, it's up to down, but you know, this illustration, but in this size, so just like imagine. So I think that'll be great. I'm feeling really excited because even though we are a little over a week from the launch, I feel like I am making some really good progress on things. I'm just happy that I got to sort of show my business this much love. There's much more that I want to do, but I feel really, really proud of myself. And I just love how this came out. Oh my God. Oh my God, both of them though. They just both look so good. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you like them. <laughs> but yeah, that's my little update. There was this quote that I recently read that said, I'm sorry, but I have to make you uncomfortable. Otherwise, you would have never moved. Signed, the universe. And this quote truly moved me because I really do believe that the most fulfilling moments, the most fulfilling things and beautiful moments in our lives come from being uncomfortable and pushing through that discomfort. And sometimes I feel as an artist, believing in yourself can feel uncomfortable. It can feel delusional trying to create an idea that only exists in your head but I just want to encourage you to continue to push yourself 
I really believe that believing in yourself as an artist truly means saying yes to your dreams and yes to your ideas and yes to yourself. And I'll back you up. Hey friends, we just got uh, a package in the mail. It's literally just boxes that I ordered on Prime Day and they're white, so they'll be perfect for when I like doodle on them and stuff. So I thought we would unbox them together and, um, well, not really unbox it, but I guess, yeah, kind of. I guess we'll unbox them together and see how they fit the mugs because that's the important part. So here's one box, it's so cute and small. Okay, so this is how it will fit and I think it's perfect actually because I can still like stuff all around the sides to make sure that it's perfectly in there and it closes perfectly and yeah, so overall I think this is a win. So yay, I'm so happy. I love that it can close perfectly. I just have to make sure obviously since it's glass to have padding around everywhere, but this is perfect. It's cute, it's small, it's gonna be so fun to doodle on, um, and I'm really, really, really happy about it. Um, so yeah, I feel like that was a success. I feel like a true small business owner because now I am excited about boxes. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we should um, go ahead and get started or get back to working, so. One of my favorite parts of my studio are my plants. I just love them so much and I love the fact that there's so many analogies about them that you can apply to your life. For instance, I feel like plants are a general reminder that consistency will always lead to growth. And when you consistently show up for yourself and for your dreams, they are bound to come true. You are bound to grow. And I just think that's a beautiful thing. I wanted to show you some care cards that I made. So I made this one for the snake mug, and as you can see, it's just care instructions and then the little snake illustration at the bottom, and I think it came out so cute. And then I made a matching one for the chrysanthemum mug, which I also think is really, really cute. So I think I'm going to go ahead and print these and see how they look. One of my favorite parts of preparing for a shop update is that I get to show my products a lot of love. And so making these care cards and cutting them out and just being able to look at them and hold them in person felt really great. And it felt like I was adding a little finishing touch to the product as well as something that is functional and that may help somebody out. And I'm just really, really proud of how they came out. I feel like the wording came out kind of small, so I may add a QR code to the back just so that it'll lead to a PDF where it's more accessible for people who may be visually impaired like I am, but I love them. And tonight I decided it's been a long time since I've actually taken some time to draw for myself. And well, I kind of ended up just doing another mug design. And I was really inspired by my Monstera plants. I really love them so much. And one of my Monsteras I've never really drawn before are my Swiss cheese Monstera plants. And oh my goodness, I'm just so in love with them because I feel like they are so elegant and just their detail is just so beautiful and unique. And I truly, truly love them. And not to mention I've propagated them so many times. So I feel like I have a deep connection with them. A little fun fact is that Monsteras are my first plants that I've ever been able to keep alive and it really got me into the house plant thing. And most of my big Monsteras came from one little plant that I got in 2021, I believe, which is crazy, but I just love it. Also a little fun fact, I know this is random, but um, Monsteras tend to live up to 40 years, I believe. So they feel like little lifelong companions and if you take really good care of them, they'll last you a really, really long time. And it's really cool because I feel like their, um, the analogy about growth when it comes to them really stands true. You really get to watch them grow as you grow. And it's so crazy that when I first got them, I was just a little baby Sid figuring things out. And I've grown so, so, so much in the last few years. So yeah, that just makes me so happy. So then to be creating this illustration, 
um, and this mug design it makes me so happy because I feel like it's really really true to me and I feel like it's something that I would just really really love to uh, hold in the mornings with my cup of tea or my cup of coffee so yeah I feel like this is yet another mug design that I created for myself which I feel like I'm being so selfish because one day I'm gonna have too many mugs and I'm gonna have to move on to something else I feel like but uh, I love it. Um, I would love to know if you own any plants or um, what's the lesson that you've learned from plants. I feel like that would be really, really cool to hear from you. Um, and if you don't, I would love to know um, what else do you own? What is something that you are passionate about? What is something that you love to keep around that inspires you? Just what is essential for life that is thriving? Go Mute out the chatter, feel it, burn off the fire, let go until there's peace to your core. Live a life you adore. day I decided to take some time to finish up this little leafy illustration that I've been working on and it's just so relaxing. I finished a lot of it last night but I just wanted to spend some time actually cleaning it up and getting it ready for print for whenever I'm ready to print it. This won't be in the current shop update but it still feels good to create something that could be used uh, in the future. So yeah, hopefully this design will be ready for the next shop update whenever that happens. But I love it so much. What do you think? I just finished my leaf mug design and I'm so happy with it. I feel like it came out so cute. If you can't tell, I am obsessed with just greenery. I mean, I have plants, like so many of them. And so to create a mug that embodies that vibe feels like it's something that is really made for me. And I feel like that just... Oh, it just makes my heart feel all warm and happy. So hopefully that'll be coming out in the next drop, not this one, but maybe a future one. And so, yeah, oh my gosh, how exciting. That's awesome. And so speaking of drops, I guess I want to talk about some feelings that I have about this upcoming drop because, wow, we are a little less than a week away from it. And um, I have so many thoughts. The biggest thought that I have is... um. In my mind, there's been this conflicting feeling of, oh my gosh, what if my stuff doesn't sell? What if nobody buys anything? What if it's a, it's a whole flop and I have been making these videos and doing this marketing all for it to not succeed? And that made me have to reel myself in multiple times this week and remember my why. And my why to doing this was to prove that I could do a shop update make my own mugs, make my own sticker sheets, two things I haven't done before and put it out there into the world. And I feel like, you know, no matter how well it does, I know that I succeeded because I started something and I finished something and I proved, my, proved to myself that I could do things I've never done before, which is crazy. So if you are planning a shop update, I want you to think about your why. And it I think it needs to be something that you can control. You can't control how many sales you get. You can't control how people will receive your product, but what you can control is how your product makes you feel and your own personal growth metrics. And for me, I get, again, my measure of success is just completing this and just putting something completely new and different into the world. I mean, this glass mug idea, I've never made glassware in my entire life. And I've only briefly heard about UV DTF from other creators. So the fact that I just did it and I came out with something that I absolutely love is already a win in itself without the drop even happening. Same thing with the sticker sheets. They are actually being shipped. So they'll arrive sometime in the next few days. And the fact that I created that for myself, I've never done that before 
is a win. So make sure you give yourself the credit that is due and make sure that you validate yourself. I feel like a lot of times we seek validation from others and we attach our success to them when in reality, how we feel is what matters the most in my opinion. So yeah, just remember to be kind to yourself. Remember to give yourself credit. Remember that no matter how well your shop update does, the fact that you put yourself out there and you had the courage to do it is um, is beautiful and is makes you successful already. And it's already going to be a learning experience. Something else that's really helped is that, and it has helped ease my anxiety, is that I actually signed up for some markets for the next few months, actually, till the end of the year. And I think that really helps because even if, let's say, my sticker sheets or my mugs don't do well online, I know that I have opportunities that are in person where I get to share my stories and where people can see the mug in person and connect with it in person. And I think that will give a whole nother experience and give my products another chance to maybe resonate with somebody, which I think matters a lot. I mean, I know that social media is very hyped up and it's an amazing way for us to connect with each other. I mean, it's how I get to connect with you. Um, but I also think having a local presence and speaking about your art in person is a whole nother ball game. And it's something I've been personally neglecting. So I feel really proud of myself to have had the courage to put myself out there in that way and get back into doing markets and to put my glass mugs and my sticker sheets and my new products out there and I think that's going to be an interesting experience to see how people resonate with them because some people might not be able to see your art online but fall completely in love with it in person so make sure you don't limit yourself to just one platform that you market yourself on um, make sure you just have the courage to um to put yourself out there in a variety of ways. So yeah, I guess that's all I, I had to say. I hope that this little chat session um, just reminds you that you are amazing and the fact that you are putting yourself out there, the fact that you're believing in your craft, the fact that you are just taking time to dedicate to your art and prioritizing that is a beautiful thing and should not go unnoticed. So kudos to you and um yeah okay i think that believing in yourself can be a really big confidence booster i mean imagine it it's so scary at first you're not sure if you can accomplish the silly little idea that you have in your head but imagine accomplishing and achieving your visions time after time after time again. And if you are an artist or a painter or a crafter, you know this feeling of creating art that you absolutely love, but going through that weird in-between stage where you just need to push through, where you couldn't put the pencil down even though you wanted to. And I think the same thing applies when it comes to believing in yourself and saying yes to your dreams. It's not gonna be easy at first. It's not gonna be normal even and your dreams may seem a little bit weird but as time goes by you'll begin to build trust within yourself and then with that comes confidence and with that comes you being an inspiration to other people and the cycle goes on and on and on and i think we all have moments where we don't believe in ourselves i mean i definitely do and during this little shop update i had to snap myself out of so many intrusive thoughts but at the end of the day, when I reach the finish line, when I can say, wow, this stuff is all in my shop, my shop is live, that's when I'm going to be like, wow, I did that. I can't believe I made that. So I hope this inspires you to just say yes to yourself, to believe in yourself, even if it feels uncomfy for now, because I believe in you. I know you can do anything you set your heart and mind to, and the only thing standing in your way is you. So what are you waiting for? On another note, the new transfer just arrived and I'm so excited because I've been waiting literally all day for this transfer. I just can't wait to make the snake mug. So once it was all cut, 
to size and ready to go, I started prepping the glass and getting everything ready for, um, for transfer. When I prep the glass, I just clean it with some rubbing alcohol and then I also prep the transfer by using the squeegee that Ninja Transfers provided me to basically squeege up and down the transfer. And after that, it's just a matter of peeling and attaching it to the mug, which is such a tedious process because like what happened first time, it's so easy to mess up and it's so permanent so I really have to get it right on the mug on the first try. But look how it came out. I think it looks amazing. The colors look amazing and I'm so happy with it. Guys, look what just came in the mail. Oh my goodness. My sticker sheets just came in and I am feeling really, 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 really excited about them. I got them from sticker app. I love how they just like packaged them like this. It feels so professional. Um, but wow, I, I love them so much already. So I guess we will take them out. Let's look at them. Oh my goodness, they feel so good. They feel so good. This is how they look. They are glossy stickers and they look they look so good. They they look amazing. Um, so I'm gonna count them and see how many I have. Make sure I have the amount that I order. Which this looks like for some reason this looks like more than I what I ordered, <laughs> which is, which would be great. But also I'm just happy to have the amount that I need. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna count them really quick. Okay, so. I ordered seven of them. They gave me 10, which is insane. I mean, I'm so happy because I get this, because my plan was to use one of them and then have like six for sale. But now I get to have 10 for sale and I um, won't, well, no, nine for sale, which is really, really nice, especially because that's more than what I ordered. So I'm so grateful. But yeah, they look so awesome and i'm very 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 happy and they're waterproof um and i think weatherproof as well so they're really really high quality stickers and i will be ordering from sticker app again i feel like the colors came out true to what i ordered and i'm so happy because this was the last thing i was waiting for for the shop update so we have the mugs we have the stickers we have the prints and so I'm feeling really, really, really optimistic for the sale. Hello friends, we are less than 48 hours away from the launch and so many things are coming together, but there's also so many things that we need to get done. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I am like low key panicking. Uh, in procrastinator fashion, I feel like I was so calm leading up, but now that we're so close, I am really really nervous because I just want to get everything done in time not to mention it'll be my birthday so I want to be able to enjoy that so yeah let's go ahead and get to work I have some stickers that I want to make and I also want to revamp my website and I also want to edit a YouTube video so I can have that posted by the time the launch is up to sort of like share my journey with throughout all of this um, and yeah, so I guess enough yapping. Let's just go ahead and get to work. When I posted a post of my pumpkin fairy on Instagram, I actually got questions about if I was going to make stickers. So I decided to make stickers of both of my fall prints for the shop and I'm so excited. I really love it when you guys give me suggestions on what I should make with my current paintings. It's always so much fun seeing my paintings in a different light, especially because I have my own vision of what I think would look good, but getting an alternate perspective is always great. Plus, making stickers is so much fun. It's so therapeutic just putting on the laminate and then cutting each individual sticker. One day I do want to outsource my stickers just to save time, but while I am making them at home, I'm going to enjoy the moment and just savor it. This is how they came out. I love them so much. I love how vibrant the teals and blues are in this one. 
and with the other one i love how warm it is they provide such a beautiful contrast when seen together and i'm really really happy that you guys gave me this suggestion after making the stickers i decided that i should probably go ahead and make some product photos for my website so here i am setting up my stickers figuring out how i want to take these photos and just doing my best i am by no means a photographer but i feel like as an artist and as a small business owner you kind of have to wear different hats and just see what happens and when i saw all of my stickers for this drop all together i was so proud Seeking you will find There is nothing It's been a few hours, but I wanted to show you what I have so far for my website and the updates and yes, yeah. how the landing page is looking, the home page. The blind artist and shop update is here and it's cozier than ever because it is. Oh my goodness. And then I have some photos of the glass mug and the um so the blue one and the snake one i also have my sticker sheet on here super cute and then i have highlighted the fall prints too and then of course i have my if you want to subscribe to my newsletter um and stay updated on future drops and stuff that's here and then my portfolio which has been which was already here it's just pushed down lower now so that's that page. Then when you go to prints, um, this is how the landing page is looking. Originally, I had everything on its own, like in one shop page, but I feel like having a landing page for all of my different things is really, really nice. So we have all the listings here. We have the pumpkin print and the featured prints here. And then of course, like a little description and um, this print highlighting the section. Then we go to stickers, which is my favorite page. I used a photo that I took earlier today. We have a little description here, sticker sheet here. When you click on this on the day of the launch, it'll take you to the sticker sheet. And then we have the fall stickers and same thing here. When you click on this, it'll take you directly to the sticker and then the listings of all the other stickers here. And then I have my mugs page and this is how it's looking. So cute, a little description, the mugs here, and then the listings will go down here when they are, um, when it's time. And then I also did little updated apparel page, nothing crazy. I would like to go back and like add details, but I feel like this was good for now. And then same thing for my skateboard decks, nothing too crazy just so that they can still be here. And yeah, all the rest of the pages I really haven't updated just yet. Just these few because they were actually in my one shop page, but I love, I just love the idea of having a landing page. I think it looks really, really nice. And I feel like it's going to help a lot with the user experience so people can know exactly where they wanna go. and. It'll be really, really easy. And then also something I added was a little cart up here so that people can like see how many stuff is in their cart. So it feels like you're on like a legit shop type of website, which is super, super cool. I'm really, really proud of the progress that I made. I have all of my listings up on my shop just scheduled and ready to be posted on the day and time of the launch, which is really, really cool. I feel so prepared in that way. Um, so yeah, I am really proud of myself. I love how the website is coming along. It's also optimized for mobile, of course. So like we're all on our phones. So if you're on your phone and you happen to be shopping on my website anytime, it'll still be a cozy and cute experience, but I'm so, so happy. I think one day I want to make my pages a little bit more like detailed, have my designs of the background and stuff like that. But I think as of now, this is a really, really, really great start and I'm so proud. So I feel like the next thing on the list, since we already have the uh, listings on the shop and they're scheduled and they're ready, which is like a big chunk of things. Now it's all about promotion, finishing up my YouTube video 
um, maybe doing some impromptu reels to show off the products that I've made for tomorrow, just to like let people know that it's happening. I already posted on my story, I posted on threads, I've sent out an email already, but I want to send out another one for the day of the launch. And I want to have a post slash reel for the day of the launch and leading up to the launch since we have a day in between. So I think those are like the last minute things I need to work on in regards to this launch. But wow, I am really, really, really proud of myself for getting this far and for doing this because now it's like the products are there, which is awesome. And I'm so happy I get to share these bits of my journey with you. In this video, I took you along the journey of preparing for my shop update along with talking about the importance of believing in yourself and how it can lead to confidence and achieving your dreams. And so I'm so grateful to share this journey with you. I'm so grateful to have had this conversation with you. If you're watching this video now, the shop update is live if you're interested. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, bye.